Dame Dash officially says he's broke and he shares why. I have not seen this video, but to hear Dame Dash say something like this, it makes no sense. I definitely got to see why. Dame Dash, for those young guys, probably didn't grow up like me, but Dame Dash was in all the Dipset videos. Dame Dash was in all the Rockefeller videos. Not just say Dipset, all the Jay Z's everywhere, popping Chris Style, Champagne. He had one of the best MTV Crib episodes. When we thought of luxury, before we thought of Jay Z back in the day, as crazy that is to see, I thought of Dame. I definitely thought of Dame during the Rockefeller era. He was the one walking around chaining everyone. Do you remember who chained Kanye West? Do you remember who chained Kanye West? Look at the legacy he is today. Kanye has gave love to Dame Dash so many times. Don't ever forget the man that put that chain on Kanye's neck was a chain from Rockefeller and not from any artist. I didn't even want Ye to chain me. I wanted to get that chain from Dame Dash himself. And for Dame Dash now to speak on that, he's broke and all this. And to see how he fell apart with Jay-Z just breaks my heart. That was one of the big first fall-offs that I've seen in business that just made no sense to me as a kid. Like, bro, I thought they'd be doing business forever. Why they fall off? And it's allegedly over Cam and that whole situation. We're not going to talk too much about that. But Dame Dash saying he's broke. Dame Dash's son was selling cookies, if you guys remember. That nigga was going crazy about his son's cookie company. And how he'll never let his son call no other man a boss. When he was coming at DJ Envy. Remember DJ Envy was trying to talk like he was the main shareholder for iHeartRadio. And they kept saying, you have a boss that you report to, nigga. It's crazy to see. I know I know. Envy's definitely watching this with his light skin, petty ass, smiling. Let's talk about you. Do you feel like you get your props as a mogul? I don't man? care. <laughs> I take my props. You don't fuck about props. I can't. My, yeah, I do get my props. I'm not a mogul. I'm a tycoon. I sell oil. Don't disrespect me and say I do everything everybody else does. And I put up my own money. All these so-called moguls y'all talking about, you mm -hmm. name one of them that put their own dough up. You, a boss, you're only the boss if you put up your own money. If you don't put up your own money, I don't care how much somebody gives you, you're nothing but a supervisor. It's not yours. So how much money can you get paid to not... I, there's no money in this world for someone to pay me so they could call me, so I could call them a boss. That's like calling somebody daddy. That's, how can a man call another man? Yo, that's my boss. We don't do that. I mean, everybody at some point no, has to have don't. a boss, right? No, not in Harlem. Oh, okay. Put it like this. Because you're somebody's boss. No, I'm not somebody's boss. I, I'm, when I was in the street, mm -hmm. it, someone wasn't your boss. They gave you an opportunity. Okay. They gave you some work. You go make it, and then you bring it back. You can go buy your own work. You do whatever you want. It's called consignment. So why this can't be all work? This corporate America, we could be using this. you don't this. own it. But I'm telling you, no, I'm telling you why. I'm telling you why. Question, listen, question, listen, let me ask you a question. I'm listen. Can you give it to your son? I'll give what to my son? Whatever you want. this company, yeah. I absolutely positively can. How? Why? Right, because I own shares of this company. You bought them? Yes. Uh, what I'm saying is, can your son eat, is this yours to give the whole company to you? This company is not my son's, no. Exactly. It's not mine, but I own shares Wait, stop, listen, listen. That's not my question. If your son needs a job here, can you give it to him? No. No. If your son needs to get some money out the bank from here, some cash flow, can he get it? No. All right. You don't own this. But I can Stop. take the, I can take the money you. from here to invest in no, myself. No, it's not yours. I'm not going to fight for something I don't own. Men don't do that. I don't fight for other n****s. I fight for me. I'm not a doula. I'm not going to build somebody else's company and then take shares so my son can... All that. But I'm not no, listen, company, listen, though. what I'm saying is... what about taking I'm the money? You come to work every day. You took the money from Def Jam. Why take, wait, stop. Don't say, you're speaking my business and you don't know what you're talking about. I ain't take no money from Def Jam. What you talking about? What I mean, about? take, I mean, they cut you a no, check. No, they didn't cut me a check. We had a formula based on performance. Nigga probably gonna need to go get a job. Nigga, go get a J-O-B, nigga. <laughs> we hiring, nigga. <laughs> I can see if I could put the word in, send your resume. <laughs> Oh man, subscribe to the channel, man. We're on the road to 10,000 subs. We're doing that giveaway. Let's see what Dame has to say. Somebody asked me how I got so broke. Um, investing in my dreams. You know, when you're investing in your dreams and you dream big, you're always gonna be broke. You'll have a lot of shit, but I don't have no money for nobody else. That's what you call broke. But that's what it is. Well, I mean, but either way, I'm gonna get with y'all. Stay tuned. I'm curious to see how it all rolls out. But, uh, you know, if you got. Even Dame saying he was broke was a Dame Dash kind of answer. I got a lot of shit, but I just don't got money for y'all. So, you know, if that's what y'all call being broke, then that's what it is. Like, yo, Dame, I'm telling you, 
That nigga could be on the electric chair and you tell him, I won't pull this if you call me a boss. That nigga gonna die. He's not gonna call you a boss. I promise you that. Remember, Adam22 tried to do the show he has with Wack 100 years ago with Dame Dash. The shit lasted two episodes. The two episodes were hilarious. But you can see it was definitely frustrating for Adam to the point that after like two episodes, it never made it further. I just want to say for the record, I like Kanye too. But I mean, I just don't really care about that He's not your brother, album. bro. He's not my brother. You're not gonna have an objective conversation with me just about Kanye. Because you don't know him like I do. Period. I know him. Right. You know? And I appreciate everything he did. Because we sat down and architected a dream. And he took that shit to Michael Jackson level. He's Willy Wonka right now. He could change anyone's life if he touches and pauses the right way. <laughs> That's a power, bro. And that shit don't come. You know, y'all better appreciate that. Life would be whack without Kanye. You think it would be a better place if he wasn't acting up? What'd y'all talk about? I mean, there's specific incidences I could do without you. Yeah. yeah, right. Every single incident you talk about, you enjoy talking about it. Look at the Trump shit in a bubble and admit to Who me gives that a you fuck, don't like bro? it. It's bubblegum shit. Fuck. What could be more consequential? Who? What what the what fuck? Is that bubble gum? Let me ask you a question. You, you, your question. defense, you call that bubble gum and then you talk about sneakers. Sneakers don't matter. What are you talking about? Ideas Jobs matter. matter. The president no, matters. the fact that a black man. When I seen this man show up with a suit with shorts, I was like, nah, this nigga's here for business. He's here to troll. Talking about investing in your dreams is definitely true, though, for sure. Even on all the merch and stuff that I've made throughout my life, I had to throw that down, hoping you flip that and make that back. We coming back better than ever with a whole lot more expensive drops and designs and ideas. So I know for sure this is not going to be cheap. I know for sure this is not going to be cheap. Sometimes you got to just invest in those dreams. If you guys know, there's been a lot of issues going with his share of Rockefeller Records. Jay-Z wants it. His share of Rockefeller Records, I believe it has some tie to Dead Presidents, the first album, Reasonable Doubt by Jay-Z. So he's selling his share right now for those that haven't seen that. Let's review that video. Before we review that video, does anybody remember when Dame Dash kept talking about he had like a Netflix idea, like you can go stream movies that he directed and stuff? Remember, he directed Paid in Full, which is one of the greatest ever. I love that movie, Paid in Full. He had a whole bunch of other movies that he was working on. He was working on a platform that you can go up there and watch movies he directed. Has anyone ever looked into that? Please let me know. I'm assuming it didn't work as well as I heard years ago that he was bigging it up to be. But you never know until you go out there and do it. That's one thing we still got to always respect Dame is that if he believes in himself, that boy going to find a way to invest or find investors. We've, we've seen him run down on a nigga before to get his money. At the craziest time, homies there like, yo, chill. I forgot who it was. It was like a director or somebody. He's like, yo, chill, I'm going to get you your money. Dame, Dame. Dame's like, Aura. Aura. I'm like, what? Aura. Nigga, Aura. Aura. That nigga started speaking bilingual how bad he wanted his money. I'm like, nah, Dame ain't the nigga to play. Let's see Dame explain him selling his half of Rockefeller Records before we get out of here. As we all know, one third of Rockefeller. As we all know, one third of Rockefeller Inc., which owns Reasonable Doubt, is for sale. That's what it is, that they own Reasonable Doubt. But wasn't, wouldn't they also own the Blueprint 1 and the Hard Knock Life Volume 1 and 2? I'm not too sure how that works. And I've gotten a lot of calls, a lot of offers. I, I don't know if people are hummusting, you know, or, or not. We'll see who shows up. But I've definitely got some very healthy offers, and I appreciate those. And, you know, obviously, if someone's trying to hate on the price, or trying to uh, devalue it, it would be because they want to buy it, you know, like a first right of refusal. So if you do want to buy uh, one third of Rockefeller Inc., you are going to have to bring some bread. And anything over $10 million, I'm going to sweeten the pot. You get an original Rockefeller chain from off my neck. So, you know, I say, because I was the only one that gave out Rockefeller chains when Rockefeller really existed. If I don't give you the chain, it's not a legit Rockefeller chain. You get one of these, this is legit. This is the old school one from off my neck. You know, like how when I took one off my neck and gave one to Kanye. Right there, that's what we talked about earlier when he took that off his neck and blessed Ye. And I'm the new member of The Rock. Remember that? Cameron, all that. So, again, if you're going to call, please have the intention of spending some real money and actually completing the transaction but uh if you come with the right amount of money you're gonna get a chain or you know at least you'll have to battle with homeboy on the first right of refusal homeboy who's homeboy homeboy is jay-z he's basically saying jay-z is trying to devalue one third of it because remember he's still cool with bigs and he still owns a part so that's already two people right there the actual extra third right there is dame dash 
and Jay wants to complete that full circle. So we know Jay-Z wants to buy Dame's half more than anybody, and that money would be nothing for him just to get the back the rights to his album. And if we know anyone that's gonna pay whatever and do whatever to get that back, it's gonna be Jay-Z. But it's just wild to see where Dame came to today, man. Dame was somebody so hard to work with. You guys remember when he did that Def Jam thing? I feel like we talked about it already in like 10 videos. But a lot of times I used to think like, yo, why don't Dame just tuck his tail and call Jay and be like, bro, I'm sorry. Whatever you're mad about, my nigga, I'm sorry. You throw 50 Cent and Nicki Minaj was the pettiest people of all time. My nigga Jay, you got it. I'm sorry. But then you have to remember who Dame Dash was. Do you really think Dame Dash is someone to call somebody and say they sorry? The nigga that yelled about somebody having a boss. The same person that went to Def Jam, the label that he was in partnership with, and went crazy because they met with Jay-Z without him about a Jay-Z, or they met with about a Jay-Z project without him, and he went nuts. You remember that? But other people, because you don't respect my culture. That's why. That's why you've been smacked. Not by me, by other people. Get out of here. Beat it. No one needs you. Get out. Clear sample or something. Call security. How y'all calling me is without me, baby. That's what I need to know. They come on, man. That's what I need to know. You get your step out. It's all good. Go no Do you really expect that man to go apologize? I want to say he, he was yelling like Kevin Lyles, if I remember correctly. He was bugging out in a, in, a, in a marketing room. Like, imagine going to work and having to deal with this. Do you think this is someone that people are going to feel bad for? That's why everybody's looking at Dame now. You don't really see niggas going the most to really go help him out or do anything for him or put him on, like, a project, bring him onto a team. He worked to create one of the most historic, most memorable eras in hip hop. Early 2000s, Rock Aware, Rockefeller was crazy, brother. Was crazy, that was an era to be alive in. Dipset was part of Rockefeller Records, even St State Property was part of Rockefeller Records. We had Jay-Z, we had a whole bunch of other artists in there. That shit was really fire. And it was a crazy era in hip hop and they were always number one. Jay-Z was literally the Drake of back then, like I love to say when it came to numbers. And to see Dame where he's at today just breaks my heart. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. You think Dame will sell that for 10 million? Somebody wants a chain that bad that they'll pay 10 million for one third of Rockefeller Records? Let me know down below.